Shalom. I'll praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Kodash Waka, double honors to the Paz and Hell's great millstone who rule well, and the sincere salutation to the Hakim pushing his truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the hope for the left. Coming into another lesson, title The Lord has opened up his armory. Simple fact, you got wars going on all over the Middle East, the Mid Eastern continent, okay? The only place there's no wars going on is in North America, but their troops are over there in what they call Jehoshaphat, okay? The valley of the Most High Yahweh decision, Yahweh Shapat. Okay, that um, I'm again. It's wars and rumors of wars going on, and you got other nations bombing each other back and forth. It's been killings going on. So the Lord has opened up His armor now. Back in the earlier years, when World War One and Two. You had the men fighting like face to face, battling each other up close. But this third world war is going to be with them ICBMs, them intercontinental ballistic missiles. It ain't going to be no on the ground troops battling. It's going to be with the nukes, the thermonuclear war. So, mainly, it's going to be every other nation is going to come up against America, North America, because they are sick of North America bullying them, taking their resources, and just basically making mockery of them overall. So the other countries are going to come up against North America. Cause they sick of North America being a bully, what's been going on from generation to generation. All the allies of North America will come up against North America. And the Lord got them prepping their ICBMs, getting them ready to destroy North America. And then all the other nations gonna be destroyed. But they are going to come up against Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. And it reads, Behold, I have created the smith that blow the coals in the fire and bring forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. So the Most High Yahweh set up the Smith, which was the German who created the first atom. Then they split the atom and made the ICBM. So he said he created the Smith to blow clothes in the fire to create an instrument for his works, which was the waster to destroy. So this third world war is going to be with them ICBMs, a thermonuclear war by them intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay. The nukes and all the nations at first all the nations didn't have the nukes the ICBMs not everybody got the ICBMs okay and Iran North Korea Russia which is the main three is going to destroy North America and it's through the scriptures it's in the scriptures it tells you that May God is going to destroy North America and all the other nations along with them. This is um, Jeremiah chapter 50. Jeremiah 50 and 14. And it reads, put yourself in a raid against Babylon round about. All ye that have been the bow, shoot at her 
spare no arrow, for she have sinned against the Lord. Okay, he says, spare no arrows. May shoot all your missiles over here. Because she has sinned against the Lord. How they did his people, his children, Israel. Okay, and I'm going to go back. This is Jeremiah 15 and 10. It says, and the Chaldeans shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah. So all the other nations are going to be satisfied when they spoil her because she will be destroyed. North America, Babylon the Great, the virgin daughter of Babylon will be destroyed by all the other nations. They will destroy her. This is verse 25, Jeremiah 15, 25. The Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Which means indignation mean righteous judgment, righteous anger. For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Chaldeans going back to Babylon, the Syrians, but this is the spiritual Babylon, which is the Edomites. This is spiritual Babylon. Verse 26, it said, come up against her from the uttermost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly, let nothing of her be left. So North America would be destroyed. It would be a desert, man, a wasteland. Okay, this is verse 29. Jeremiah 15, 29, call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that been the boat. Now we know this can't be talking about the old Babylon because wasn't no archers. When Babylon was not destroyed by no missiles. It said, call, call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that been the boat. Camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Let none of them, let no one escape. They're talking about all you heathen nations who over here. Enjoying, laxing, getting riches, and you two third wicked of Israel. Recompense her according to her works, according to all that she have done. Done to who? To the children of Israel, man. Do unto her, for she have done proud against the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, against the Holy One of Israel. All that she have done, you look okay, at your past gay laws, GMO food. Chemtrails in the air. You're killing these babies with vaccines, and you just destroying Israel all around, man. Verse 30. Therefore, shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, said the Lord. All you men of war, all your mighty men, your army men, they shall be destroyed in the battle of Jehoshaphat, man. Yahweh Shapat. The valley of decision that I'm again a hey, the battle, all these armies finna get ready to battle, man. But mainly they gonna come up against North America. Okay, this is um Jeremiah 15 35. A sword is upon the Chaldeans. See if the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. Okay, all you mighty men, you princes, all you shall be destroyed. Verse 36. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall die. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. So, all your mighty men, your wise men, your men of war, they will be destroyed. This is Jeremiah 51, verse 1. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. And when sin unto Babylon fan us, that shall fan her, 
and shit. Empty her land. Talking about them thermonuclear missiles, man. For in that day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Who shall be against her? All those other nations that you that, that you bullied, man. You took all their resources, man. They want to come up against you. All round about you, man. Against him that been that been that let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in the brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So it's going to be a way that you will be destroyed. Okay, the spiritual land of the child then, the Edomites, the so-called white people, your whole, everything will be destroyed, man. Your whole system of things will be destroyed. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in the streets. For Israel have not been forsaken, nor Judah his power, but the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So the Lord saying, flee. He talking to Israel, which is the elect, because the two thirds got to be put to death because they are following their slave master. They are following their their daddy, basically, the slave master. So they're going to be put to death too. But he's saying, flee ye out of Babylon, which means don't be caught up in these worldly things, man, in this wickedness. Because all this finna become the knot, man. Don't be partaking in this wickedness. Trying to keep up with the Jones and all this other wickedness, man. Verses Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Okay? The nations are pissed off, man. All the other nations, your allies and all the other nations, Russia, North Korea, Iran, all of them is pissed off, man, with America, with North America. Okay? Because what you did, man, you done took all their resources and you putting more sanctions and sanctions on these countries, man. Like you got the power over these countries. But all that finna come to naught, man. This verse 8, it says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bond for her pain. If so, be she, may be healed. But she ain't going to be healed, man. All the destruction that the Edomites done done, man. All the wickedness that you done done, man. You shall be destroyed, man. All your mighty men, your wise men, your men of war. Okay, you got you will be destroyed, man. It's Joel chapter three. I'm gonna start at verse two. It reads, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat in the Hebrew means Yahweh Shapat, man. The valley of this, the valley of the Lord's decision, man. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Okay, you done parted the Lord's land, man, and scattered his people everywhere. Okay, you sold us to the Grecians, you Edomites, man. You sold us to all nations, man. And you Hamites. You help them scatter us, man. And some of you, Uncle Tom, as Israelites, man. Okay, when we had to flee into Africa, man. The western the western part of Africa, man. He, some of our own people helped the Hamites gather us up and sold us to the Edomites, man. And put us on the, the ship that was owned by the Arabs. 
This is, Jer this is Joel chapter 3, verse 2. I will gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. This time about all the other nations, man, that's going to go to war against North America, man. And will plead with them there for my people. Because every other nation had us in captivity, man. And for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Okay, now this is Joel chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. It's talking about all them other nations that's getting ready to battle against North America, man. Verse 10, it says, beat your plowshares into scores. You know the plowshares, man. It's something that you plow with, man. They say, man, beat that into swords, man, because it's time for war. And your pruning hooks into spears. And the pruning hook, you know, a pruning hook is a, is basically a pole with a with a curve like um with a curve like um hook on it, a curve like blade on it for trimming like branches and trees or whatever. It's a Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourself and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourself together round about. Build up, cause thy mighty ones to come up to, to lock you. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourself together round about. Build up. Cause thy mighty ones to come down. So he said, Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. All ye heathen, gather, man. So there's all them heathen nations, man, from the come against North America, man. It's gonna be a major war, World War Three, And it's already wars going on in all other countries, man. But all you, 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 Jakes, man, I hear you, you. you you hear your life, man. You ain't paying attention to what's going on, man. All you do is party, party, club, and bullshit, man. That's all you want to do is shop and watch sports and TV shows. But there's war going on in every country, man. These countries, man, you got Venezuela, Puerto Rico. They don't got no food, man. There's famine going on. The only country where ain't no famine there is in North America, man. And everybody taking it for granted over here, man. Living good. But every other country ain't famine. They are dying, getting bombed. People are dying, but you over here in North America don't even pay attention to what's going on, man. This is Joel chapter three, verse twelve. It says, "Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shapat, for there will I set to judge all the heathen round about." Okay. See, all you heathen gonna get judged, man, because when y'all destroy North America, man, the Lord gonna put the missiles on y'all own head, man. So why y'all gonna get destroyed, man, at the same time, man. Okay, he said for one hour, man, this earth shall be North America and all the other his nations shall be destroyed, man. Mainly North America. North America will be destroyed in one hour, man. And if you read Revelation 17, Revelation chapter 17 and Revelation chapter 18, you will know that. That great city is talking about North America, man. Where all the kings of the other nations, they sell all, they, they committed fornicate, they fornicated with the harlot, man. Okay, they sold all their they merchandise, all their gold and silver, man. They precious ornaments, all their fine linens, man. They sell that over here in North America. That's how they get rich. But all those other countries who the allies, and all of the countries who selling their goods over here, they're gonna turn against North America. Um, this um, um Zechariah chapter fourteen and twelve. And man, this war going on, man. And you people ain't paying attention to what's going on. It's Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord 
will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Talking about the children of Israel. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And if you watch that movie, turn it to when Sarah Connor was on the gate. You see how she went to burning, man. For them thermonuclear missiles. They don't show you that, but the missiles had done hit, man. And her flesh had consumed away while she was standing on her feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Hey, you, your body just going to decay away, man. Okay? Going to be gone with the wind, man. Verse 13, it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from the Lord, the Howard Bahashim Yahweh Shah, shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. It's gonna be and that's gonna be that race riot, man. It's gonna be crazy out here. And for this is Obadiah and for, for Esau, man, the Edomites, man, North America. You think these other allies ain't going to go up against you? You think they with you to the end? Well, they going to turn on you, man. And this is Obadiah, verse 7. It say, All ye men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. It said all your men that were at peace with you, we're talking about all the allies and all those other nations, man. They was at peace with thee, but they had deceived you. And it reads, and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound on thee. There is none understanding in him. See, you don't understand what's going on, man. They playing you. You say they that ate their bread with you, man, which meant all the China, Russia, Japan, all them other countries that sold all their goods over here, man. They say they that ate their bread with you, all them that made their money with you, they are going to turn against you. They say they that ate their bread with thee has laid a wound under you. So you stupid than you look, man. You supposed to be smarter than you supposed to be wiser than Daniel, man. But you the same one that ate their bread with you, man. They done laid a snare and a trap under you, man. A wound. Because they're gonna destroy you. They're gonna gather together and destroy North America with their ICBM missiles. They're gonna destroy you. I read to you in Joel when he said, Let the weak say I am strong. But why? Back then, they didn't have no missiles. They didn't have the technology. But now they got the technology to come up against you, man. This is um, Joel chapter 3, verse 10. Beat your plowshare into swords and your pruning hook into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. What is that talking about? They're talking about all the other nations that didn't have missiles, that didn't have that technology, man. But now they have their ICBM capability, man. They got the technology to create missiles. And they, uh, Kim Jong-un been testing his missiles every other day. So all them that say they, they was weak, this reads, it say, let the weak say I am strong. Because now they got the same missiles you got, even better. So they're not weak no more. They got the same technology you got. It's Isaiah chapter 9 and 5. Like I was saying back then, the war should be fought face to face. Swords clashing together. They clashing. Blood everywhere. But in the morning, now it's going to be with fire. This is Isaiah chapter 9 verse 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. So see, all that confused noise, all that loud screaming and yelling, clashing with swords, back and forth fighting with guns. 
but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Ain't going to be no more face-to-face -face battle. It's going to be dropping missiles, shooting missiles. They said this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, man. Ain't going to be no more World War I uh, charge and all that battle fighting face-to-face. -face, heads coming off, um, limbs missing and all that guts. It's like, it ain't going to be none of that, man. It's going to be with burning and fuel of fire. It's Revelation 16 and 16. Because it's war, man. It's war time. And it's war is taking flight. Revelation 16, verse 16. And he gathered them together in a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Okay. Verse 17, and seven angels poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, It is done. Okay? And there was voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not since men were upon the earth, so mighty an earthquake and so great. It's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna, when the angel pour the vow, man, it's gonna be destruction on this earth, man. The wars, the martial law, the pestilence, the famine, and the scripture said, man, it's better to die any other way other than to die of famine, man. That's the worst way you can die of starving to death, man. This is Isaiah 34 and 1. Come here, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people, let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation, which is that righteous anger of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. It's talking about all nations because he's going to destroy every nation, North America and every other nation when it's all said and done. He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. So all is just so. Once you go to battle, everybody going to be slaughtered, man. It's just a big slaughter. Yahweh sending his son Yahweh shot back. Yahweh will be destroyed, man. It's going to be a big slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stint shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. It's going to be a destroying day. Everything will be utterly destroyed, desolate. After North America get destroyed, he's going to destroy all the other nations. But North America will be a desolate wilderness. Because they that ate their bread with thee, Shall destroy you. And this war going on, man. This war going on every day. People dying left and right, man. Getting born. All type of things going on. But the war is here, man. The Lord has opened up his armory. So with that, I was want to edify. I'm gonna say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Waha, Kodash, Raka, double honors to the Apostle and Elders, great millstone who rule well. And a sense to side taking to the offering, pushing this truth throughout the four ends of the earth, waking up the hope from the leg. Shalom.